If you like design and working with computers, take a look at steel detailer as an occupation. Steel detailers are specialized drafters who make detailed shop or fabrication drawings. These drawings are used by steel fabricators or welders to make girders, beams, columns, and other steel components. We talk to a steel detailer to learn more. I am Matthew Ploy. I'm a steel detailer with Supreme Steel Limited. My responsibilities as a steel detailer is to take engineering drawings and then from them create a three-dimensional model. After it's all connected, we create fabrication drawings and clean them up to give them to the shop. We also create uh, cam data so that the machines will punch the holes and make the cuts in certain spots that can't be done by hand. Cam data is computer information for robotically controlled uh, machines that make cuts and punch holes into uh, beams and plates and cut any shape and size. The term connection in steel detailing describes how two beams or a beam and a column might connect either by a shear tab or an end plate or gusset plates for bracing. A steel detailer can get a job for uh, working for a fabricator or for outsource uh, drafting offices where they all do the same drafting as we do here but they just deal with the shop over a phone instead of directly. Most of my day I spend in front of a computer working on my 3D modeling and uh, cleaning up drawings for fabrication purposes. Sometimes I'll have to go down to the shop, maybe two times a day, to uh, discuss drawings that I've done or to go over information with uh, people that work in the shop. The equipment that we use for steel detailing is just a computer, a basic computer, it doesn't have to be too fancy. There's a lot of different software available for steel detailing. Uh, we use one of the more popular ones. In a typical day, I usually arrive at 7.30 to 8 o'clock and uh, I go through the emails I might have received overnight and uh, I organize a priority list of what I need to get done during the day. Once I've got my priority list organized for the day and I'm working through the projects that I need to get done, if I get a project done that day, I will usually hand off my drawings and uh, 3D rendering of the model to a checker to go through to make sure that I haven't made any simple mistakes uh, to make sure that it is possible to build this structure. Since I work in an office there isn't too many safety precautions for while I'm in the office but when I need to go down to the shop I need to of course wear my PPE which is usually just a hard hat and safety glasses for me because I stay within a certain area. I came to this occupation uh, f immediately after I finished post-secondary school. Um, we took a tour of a uh, detailing office and I was really interested in seeing their 3D models. I have earned a two-year diploma in engineering design and drafting from uh, college and I believe that it can be taken at a few different schools in Alberta. We prefer to hire people out of the technical schools due to the fact that the curriculum that they have taken can be applied to the apprenticeship program but we can also hire out of high school uh, and train them in-house and put them through the apprenticeship program and make sure that they acquire the necessary skills. The apprenticeship program was developed in conjunction with Alberta Learning and it's driven by the employer. So the employer will take a new hire and determine their uh, current capacity and then develop their skills to suit the competencies in the uh, apprenticeship program. Now, the purpose of the steel detailing uh, apprenticeship program is to create a better understanding of what the field has to deal with in erecting a structure when they're putting it together and what the guys in the shop have to deal with uh, on drawings. The skills that you'd require for steel detailing are general computer knowledge of course and uh, you have to be meticulous in your uh, organization in keeping your materials together and knowing what you've sent when and where it went. A good steel detailer is someone who can actually visualize in 3D and see um, conflicts in 3D space. Steel detailers work by themselves or on a team. Uh, a lot of big jobs would involve working with several detailers at one time, dealing with them on a very regular basis several times in a day. The hours that I work here are 8 until 5 o'clock with a one hour lunch break. Um, 
Sometimes overtime is expected depending on the project schedule. Since I have my weekends and evenings free most of the time, one of the things that I like to do in my spare time is to uh, work on and build custom computers. Sometimes for people that I know I build a new computer or fix old computers for others. There's lots of learning on the job because every job is unique in steel detailing. No two are the same and there's always a new challenge, a new uh, connection, something that seemed like it was impossible before and can be done now. There's lots of opportunity for advancement in steel detailing. Uh, often after 10 years or so a steel detailer become a senior detailer where they can uh, start doing a lot of checking and uh, as, along with the regular steel detailing. From that they can uh, go into project management or estimating projects. One of the challenges that I have to deal with is uh, project schedules are sometimes very demanding and things need to be done very quickly. What I would say to somebody who's interested in pursuing this as a career is that it would be a good idea to do a job shadow of somebody who's already in this occupation because it does take a pretty specific person to do this job. I'm really happy that I chose to be a steel detailer because I enjoy seeing the results of what I've done and you know I can always tell people that I know hey I worked on that project or I helped build that structure and it makes me very proud. To become a certified steel detailer you will typically need one to four years of work experience, supplemented by post-secondary training in computer-aided design, or CAD. If the occupation of steel detailer interests you, there's more information available, including educational requirements and salary ranges, in the occupational profiles on ALICE. You may also be interested in the related occupations of civil engineering technologist or drafting technician. Learn more on the ALICE website and make the most of your future. Visit us at alice.alberta.ca